What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Okay, so... We got all the tutorials out of the way. Thank you, Arceus. And now, it is finally time for us to continue our adventure right here in the Sinnoh region in Pokemon Platinum. As many of you guys already know, not, my, not one of my favorite games of all time. But it is the game that I started off, or that I returned to, when, uh, you know... When Pokemon was now a thing. It's kind of a funny story, guys. When I was playing Pokemon, and look at this, we're taking on a Shinx, and this guy better have an Intimidate, because if it doesn't, then I'm going to be mad. And yes, it does. Okay, so Shinx right here is... Uh, I got my eyes on this Pokemon right here. I'm going to try and capture it. So, anywho, uh, like I was saying, guys... Yeah, um... There it is. I'm, I'm, I'm so lost. That I'm so out of focus right now. So let, let's let's go ahead and take a look at this Shinx first before I start telling stories. So here it is. We got Shinx, the Flash Pokemon. The extension of, and contraction of its muscles generates electricity. It glows when it's in trouble. And, well, we're going to be giving this Pokemon a pretty cool nickname. Let's see. Uh, if I remember correctly, let's go right ahead. Elect... Electro Star, is it? Electro. And let's see. Oh wow, we spelt it incorrectly. Wow, huh? Electro. Electro. Let's see. I'm trying to spell it right. So as you guys can see, it's uh yeah we we, we don't have enough space, but it, I'm pretty sure I can find a star symbol right here. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay, so. We're going to be naming this Pokemon Electro Star, obviously, with the star symbol. And, uh, yeah, just fit it in. So, let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here. Now, as we all know, Electro Star, not much of a Pokemon right now. It only has Tackle, has a hardy nature, but I do love its ability. It's called Intimidate, which lowers the foe's attack stat. So, that right there is going to help us out just a little bit. And uh, it won't be able to learn any kind of electric type moves until way later on. But hopefully, hopefully, just hopefully, we'll you know we'll get down to that stuff right there. So let's go right ahead and talk about when I was playing Pokemon for the first time in like almost four years. So going into college, it was like what my junior year or something like that of, of college. That was when I started to get a little curious about Pokemon again. I haven't played it in four years. I was very, very, very focused on doing my stuff in college. And uh, the funny thing is that, you know, it, all, it only took for me to be looking at Pokemon walkthroughs. And this was when, like, you know, YouTube was already at the star, like the rate the stars and all that stuff. It was that kind of a YouTube. And, uh... To be honest with you, I was just like, you know, I got curious and I wanted to watch a Pokemon walkthrough. I have known about Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, but Platinum was a little bit different for me and I kind of had a good idea what it was all about, you know, the titular uh, version of, you know, Diamond and Pearl and all that stuff. And uh, to my surprise, the first channel that I ran into happened to be Light Dark Neutral. So shout out to Light Dark Neutral if you're still YouTubing. Still enjoying your videos, homeboy. So, Light Dark Neutral at the time was one of the biggest uh, YouTubers out there, and he had quite a few walkthroughs already done, and yeah, I ended up watching his stuff. And that's where it all began, like, yeah, maybe I should start playing Pokemon games again. And, uh, well, that's how it came to be, because when I started playing Pokemon games, it all began with Pokemon Platinum. And... That was because, well, I needed to know what was going on in the Sinnoh region and all that crud. So, good for me, right? Good for me. And, uh, well, what else happened during that time? Yeah, so around that time, too, when I started looking at, you know, the Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon games again for, like, the DS and all that stuff, I really need to heal this Pokemon right here. Um, Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Oh, crap, ass. What the hell did I do? Oh, man, I, I tried throwing a Pokeball? Oh, jeez. Okay, so, yeah. I'm getting a little too ahead of myself with the stories right here. So, anywho. Right around this time, I was actually looking into, you know, Pokemon Platinum. And then that's when Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver was announced. I didn't even know that the remakes were, were being made or anything like that. It just all came through uh, from, uh, like, Dark Neutral. 
And then I started seeing his Pokemon Soul Silver walkthrough, and you know the rest became history. I got myself a Pokemon Soul Silver walkthrough, played the game as well, and uh, I believe that that right there that's where the itch came. And well, here we are in Jubilee City, and our girlfriend Dawn is gonna be looking at us. She's like, "Hi, Draven. Are you catching Pokemon?" Um, I think you'd feel a lot safer if you were to catch some more. You know. Like when you need to travel for, uh, to faraway places. Oh, I know. Don't you think it's better to know more about Pokemon? Sure it is. I know just the place. Come on, don't be shy. I am never shy around this girl, but you know, sometimes when cute girls are around, yes, I am a shy. Anywho, the ma that man, what, what's he doing? Oh, wow. Look at this guy. Okay, so he's going back and forth and... Uh, oh, um, what? Mysterious man. What did you know? How did you know to unmask me as a member of the International Police? Huh? What? I begged your pardon? I was just making conversation. Shady Man, he's now known as Shady Man. <laughs> you claim you were only making conversation, do you? But I know better not to believe that. No, no, no. You recognize right away that I was someone extraordinary. That is why you spoke to me, is it that not? Or is it not? Your power of observation is fearsome. Quite admirable you are. Now that my cover has been blown, let me introduce myself. I am the globe driving elite of the International Police. My name, uh, no, I shall inform you only by my code name. My name is Looker. And incidentally, this is, incidentally, is the saying, don't be a thief familiar to you? Yes. Yes, that is correct. Taking that what belongs to others is wrong. Unfortunately, there are apparently those who do not heed those words. In Sinnoh, in fact, there are criminals stealing Pokemon from others. I have therefore been on the lookout for characters of arousing my suspicion. Incidentally, are you trainers? Yes? Perhaps you can make use of this. And here we get ourselves the VS Recorder. That VS Recorder is a nifty device for recording a match. I obtained it because it's quite popular these days. But myself, I do not, uh, I do not do pack Pokemon battling very often. It will be in better hands with you. And, uh, well, also, I have a request. If you were to see me again, I ask that you not talk to me, or I am, uh, for I am on duty. Actually, yes, yes, you may speak to, to me, you must. Not because I am lonely, no, no. You must inform me of bad guys. You must inform me of anything, any happenings. And, uh, yeah, this guy is, uh, he's quite odd. <laughs> Working for the international police must be hard. Hmm. Draven, here it is. This is the trainer school. The name says it all. I saw your friend Barry go in earlier. He could still be in there studying. Okay, bye now. Okay, so that's exactly what's going to happen. So what's going to happen right now, guys, is we're going to heal up our Pokemon, and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so here we are back, and now we need to go into the trainer school because, well... Our supposed old good old friend Barry is here, and uh, look at this. There's a free Pokeball right there. We're gonna get ourselves an X attack, and uh, that right there should be useful. Now, if we talk to these people, let's see. Pokemon are smart enough to use items they're holding, but they won't know what to do with man-made items like potions and antidotes. That is true. And I wrote an essay in my notebook on the, the what makes a Pokemon or a true Pokemon trainer. And here we have two other trainers waiting for us. So let's go right ahead and take a look at these guys. Doing it is the best way to learn. Can we battle? Uh, can we? Uh, can we get a battle with you? Sure. Go, my Pokemon. Go. So here we are taking on these two individuals. Here we have a school kid, Harrison, coming out with his Starly, and well, it's at level six. So what's going to happen right here, guys? Oh, obviously, we're going to be switch training and trying to get these Pokemon stronger. He has equipped his Starly with an Axe Attack. That right there will increase its its physical attack, and well, Electro Star has finally got to level four, so that right there is just another thing. Okay, it's hard to win if you don't have some Pokemon to choose from. And if you talk to her, I just became friends with my Pokemon. I'm not sure if we could do this properly, but may we battle? Sure. I need to uh, I need to try things I learned before I forget them. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on another individual, and that is school kid Christine. She will be coming out with a Bidoof and Electrostar yet again coming right here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go straight for a switch battle right here, because that's the way we do things right now. And, well, let's go with Pound Attack. 
And just like that we win. Electrostar goes to level 5 and learns Leer. Very good move. And Christine has been defeated. She's like, I like to study a lot. Thought I could win. Yeah, you thought you could win. We were actually confident that we could, uh, we would do pretty good. But I'm completely impressed by how tough you are. If you'd like, talk to my friend and get uh, get a nice item from him. So let's go ahead and talk to him. And he's like, whew, you're really good. We've been studying every day, but we were no match at all. You'd be able to use this potion properly. Here you go. And there it is. We get ourselves some pretty good potions. And, uh, well, he's explaining to us what the potions are. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. And Poseidon is taking the brunt of the attacks right here. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. And he's like, hey, Draven, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it's all the trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Draven, what brings you here? Hmm, you got something for me? And there it is. We gave him a, de a delivery of Purcell. And he's like, so what is this? Score, it's a town map. Huh? Why are there two in here? I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Draven, you can take one. And here, we got ourselves a town map, which we probably don't need. Hmm. Well, according to the town map, I guess Orbrick City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it'd be perfect for raising the Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm on the road to becoming the greatest Pokemon trainer of all time. See you around. Okay. Flipping you off. And, uh, well, if you talk to her... It's perfectly fine for trainers and Pokemon to develop their own sp their own pace. If there is, if there is anything you're not familiar with, you can look it up here. Yeah, I, I am pretty familiar with everything that er there is with Pokemon, and uh, well, that is the reason to why we're doing this. And now, as you guys can see right here, we are not allowed towards this, the global tournament or term terminal because well, we don't have uh, we don't have badges yet. Now, if you look right up ahead. Here we have an individual who's like, oh, oh, oh! You call yourself a Pokemon trainer, and yet you have no Poketech. That is, Pokemon Watch, or Poketech for short. Oh my, you are a rare case indeed. You see, I invented a, a, a now manufactured Poketechs. Not only that, but I now, I'm now conducting the Poketech promotional pro campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns in the Jubilife City. Well, I found, I found Barry, so that counts as one. If you can find them, I will gift you with a Pokétech. So that right there is what we need to do. And well, there it is. There's one clown. And we need to talk to this guy. Yes, he has a question. Does Pokémon grow by defeating others and gaining experience points? Yes, they do. So there it is. We get one. We get one of the, the whatchamacallit, the, the coupons. And uh, well, we got to find the other three clowns. So let's go right ahead and find them. So like I was saying, guys. Um, yeah, we have to rewrite a few wrongs in this uh, in this Pokemon walkthrough. One of them being the use uh, the usage of Glade. Yes, I know, I know. I used special attacks on it. We're gonna rewrite that wrong because we all know now that it's a physical. And well, here we have the second one. Just like Pokemon types, we the moves of Pokemon also have types. Yes, they do. And well, here we get ourselves the coupon number two. Which will, you know, get us a little closer to getting that Pokétech. And, well, let's see. I'm trying to look at some items. Nope, there's nothing there. And the third clown happens to be right here. Talk to him. He's like, hi, I'm the Pokétech campaign clown. Let's roll out my question. Can Pokémon hold an item? Yes, they can hold an item. But, like it was said early, man-made items cannot be used. But berries, items such as berries, can be used. So here we got the third campaign or campaign coupon and all we need to do now is go straight to well the individual that invented it and he's like okay let me count your coupons i'll use the pokétech here one two three bravo i say bravo in return for these coupons i present you the pokemon watch for the pokétech for short and well there it is we got ourselves a pokétech you can add apps to your Pokédex to make it even more versatile. Touch the Pokédex screen and find the apps that you that are right for you. Okay, so if you guys can tell, we have the watch, and well, it is close to midnight as I'm doing this second episode. I usually like to go with uh, I like to go with that one just to see what my Pokémon are doing right now. So, anywho, 
it's time to rewrite some wrongs and take care of all of this. Yes, we're going to be doing everything. So let's go straight to this route right here. As you guys can see, if you talk to this individual, yes, sir, an old rod is a good thing. You think so too, am I right? Yes. And well, here we are. We're going to be getting ourselves an old rod, which will enable us to capture some water type Pokemon. And yeah, we do not need any instructor instructions, but yes, he's going to tell us anyways. And the best part about this is that you can go straight to Route 218 and you're going to be finding yourself a Pokeball, which is an X accuracy. And you'll be able to find a nice river right here in order to, you know, to capture some Pokemon right here. Normally, I'd be capturing a Magikarp, but yeah, we're kind of changing that up. We're going to be using, we're going to still be going with the, the method that we've been using in the last three walkthroughs, and that is using all regional Pokemon. So, yeah, just keep an eye out for that one. Now, let's see. Is there anything else that we need to do? Ah, we're going to be going north later on, but eh, let's go straight into the condominiums right here. See if we can actually find an item or two or something like that. I don't know. So let's see, talk to her, and she's telling us that, yes, we get ourselves a Quick Claw, which will actually speed up our Pokemon just a tad bit. Talk to this lady right here, and oh, hello, darling, isn't Pokedex quite fetching? It's the latest design that just came out. I obtained it instantly, of course. A trainer would be simply lost without a Pokedex after all. Okay. Now, the Pokedex, you can actually grab an eye or nap every single time you win a badge, and well, let's see, heal balls... Okay, so this person is going to be giving us heal balls right now. Alrighty, okay, so no, not no heal balls. So he's talking about the heal balls, which you can actually capture Pokemon with, and uh, you know they will instantaneously heal after capture. And well, what's going to happen now is we're going to be speeding this through. We're going to be going straight to the next route, and I feel a disturbance in the force. I really do. And here we are in Route 203, and well, would you look at that? Hey, Draven, tell me you got a little strong, a little tougher. Me? Do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, I'll demonstrate it to you. And just like that, we're battling this guy yet again. And, well, his name is Trainer Barry. He's coming out with this Starly. He's about to get his butt kicked. And it's about to get gnarly. So, here we go. Yes, that all rhymed. Let's go ahead and do some switch battling right here. And, well, of course, we're going to be losing a little bit of physical attack. So, go with the stab attack right here. Look at that. Level 6, Electro Star, and Poseidon getting some points. Now, he's going to be coming out with Turtwig. Turtwig, of course, is the bane of our existence. So, we need to switch out. And we need to go with a stab attack right here. And, obviously, it's going to be using its defense. And, right now, we need to do something about this because... We need to heal this Pokemon right now because eventually it is going to beat us. And holy crud baskets, I'm like all over the place. So here we go, healing up our Pokemon. And it's buffing up its de defense. So let's go right ahead and just chomp it down. Literally, chomp it down, get a critical hit. And just like that, Electrostar grows to level 7. And Poseidon, bam, level 11. Alrighty. We're taking it, and well, here's a water spark, and just like that, Barry has been defeated. Yeah, he's not loving me right now. <laughs> what do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, and you'll know it. The first thing, is, the first thing to do is to take on the Orberg City Gym. I'm gonna tough enough for that, totally. Okay, and uh, well. Before we do anything, guys, let's go ahead and heal up. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so we are healed up and ready to go. And the next thing we need to do is we're going to be crossing around here and uh, be we're going to be getting some Pokeballs. And as you guys can see, Pokeball, ready to go. And we're going to be... Let's go right here and see what we can do. So we're going to be battling quite a few trainers. And I get... I get my get up to, what was it again? My get my get up and go from my Pokemon. Here we go, Krikaton Zubat. Hmm. Okay, so here we are taking on Youngster Michael. And we're going to be taking on a Krikaton, so we're going to be speeding this through. And, well, it looks like uh, Electro Store it can now handle its own. So let's go right ahead and go with Tackle Attack right here. And just like that, we grow to level 8. And here comes a Zubat. Now, Zubat doesn't sound like a bad Pokemon to have right now. So here we go with the Water Sport. And we are confused. Holy buckets. And yeah, we're not doing so well right now. 
This leech life is getting on my nerves. It really is. And just like that, we have defeated Michael. Yes. Now, now that I think about it, yes, uh, I don't really think having a Zubat right now actually works. So, let's go right ahead and speed this through. And, well, we don't have Surf, so we're going to be battling some trainers. And as you guys can see, this guy is looking at us. He's like, I'm never apart with my Shinx. Our bond is strong. Okay, so here we go, taking on Youngster Dallas. And I hope he's kind of like the Dallas Cowboys, where they kind of sputter at the very end. <laughs> Suck it, Cowboys. Anywho, let's go right ahead and take on Shinx with a tackle attack. And, well, right now, it, it, well, our Intimidate's working right here. And, well, tackling attack. And look at that. Electra Star grows to level 9 and learns Charge. The only problem is it doesn't really learn any kind of uh, electric type moves until way, way later on. So, let's see. Now that Electrostar is uh, right up there, so let's go ahead and switch it up to Poseidon and give it a little bit of loving right here. So let's go ahead and see what this guy's all about. Before I challenge the Pokemon Gym Leader, I'll test my strength with you. Okay. So let's go right ahead and take on Youngster Sebastian. And we're going to be speeding this up. So let's go with a bubble attack. Le bubble. And this guy's going for a leer attack. So we got to hit it hard one more time because, yes, our defense has gone down tremendously. And, well, found a trainer while looking for some Pokemon. Have you? Have you really? And, well, here we go. Taking on last Caitlyn. Coming out with four Pokemon. So let's go ahead and split the... Uh, share the wealth right here. Here we are at level 12. And Kim coming out with Badoo. Let's go with Electro Star. And Tackle Attack. Go with another one. And just like that, we win. So let's go back to Poseidon. Poseidon ready to bubble attack bubble attack again and here comes an abra so electrostar should be able to take this guy on so let's go straight for a tackle attack and just like that it grows to level 10 yes we are improving every single time and of course we're gonna get attacked by a pokemon right here and here we have a starly okay so i've decided right here right now this is what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be taking on a starly and we're gonna add it to our team right here because well, we kind of need a, we kind of need it. So here we are. We're gonna be throwing a Pokeball at this, and well, as many of you guys already know, we're gonna be changing up our team from time to time. It's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be something. We're gonna be having a nice diverse team. So there it is. We caught ourselves Starly, and well, let's go right ahead and uh, take a look at this Pokemon right here. So as you guys can see, Starly, the Starling Pokemon. Normal and flying type Pokemon. Because they are weak and individually, they form groups. However, they bicker if the group grows too big. Let's go right ahead and give it its nickname. I'm trying to figure out the nickname. Once I figure it out, I'll be right back with you. So I'll be right back. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back, and well, say hello to Starblade. Yes, we have missed you. And uh, well. Starblade, level 4, normal and flying type Pokemon, has a calm nature, and it is quick to flee. And, well, as you guys can see, it has the ability Key 9, which prevents any kind of uh, accuracy loss and all that stuff. It does have two basic moves, so, yeah, we are going to be working in this episode, and as you guys can see, we are being looked at, cocktied and everything. I got a Nifty King Gym Badge from the Gym Leader in Orburg City. Yeah, down say. Okay, so... Here we go, take it on, last Madeline, and she's coming out with a Psyduck, so let's go ahead and speed this up. Obviously, we need to switch train right here because, well, you know, Starblade is not up to par right now, so we're going to be tackling, taking a, a, a scratch attack, and look at that, Starblade grows to level 5 and it learns quick attack, so right there, we've already benefited from, you know, it battling somewhat, and, well... Here we're not going to take on the Shinx, and uh, you know, off screen, yes, we will be battling some Pokemon just to, you know, level up our Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and grab this, and look at this, we got ourselves an X Defend, which will come in handy later on. And well, here is a Cricketon, so let's go ahead and start battling this Pokemon. And let's get the heck out of here before that, yeah, that bite attack messes us up. And there it is, a Repel, which, you know, it's a little too late to, for that one. So let's go ahead and speed this through. And here is a Zubat, which, you know, I was actually thinking for quite some, uh, well, a second just to use. So we're going to be going into the Orberg Gate. And as you guys can see, 
There is an individual looking at us. He's like, this, your sparkly new Pokétech. Your awkwardness as a traveler. Hmm. You're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? But it's all good. You're a new fellow friend of Pokémon. So let me give, let me make a gift of this hidden machine to you. And here it is, guys. We got ourselves an HM06, which is Rock Smash. And a Pokemon learning Rock Smash can smash some small boulders in, uh, on the field, but the bold or the Pokemon trainer has to have the gym badge from the Orbrook City Gym. If you don't have that badge, you can't make a Pokemon use hidden power or the hidden move Rock Smash outside of the battle. Oh, well, that kind of sucks. So let's go right ahead and take on some more trainers right here. And here we have we trainers will accept challenges anywhere. It's what we do. Okay, so let's go right ahead and speed this up, and here we are taking on another camper, and it looks like to me we are not going to be doing anything right there, so let's go with a bubbly attack, and there we go, and Starblade grows to level 6, so here comes the Shinx, let's continue on with Starblade, and well, switch it back, thankfully no Shinx can actually learn any kind of like, you know, electric type attacks until way later on, so... What's the threat right there? And look at that. Starblade grows to level 7. Poseidon, kicking butt, taking names. Alrighty. So, here we have our final opponent. And she's going to be like, To celebrate my getting uh, through this cave, I'm going to battle you. Yeah, it's not a really big cave. I'm just saying that right now. So, here we are taking on Picnicker Diana. And she is coming out with her Bidoof. So, let's get Starblade a little bit of uh, tension right here. So, let's go quick attack. Quick attack again, and it looks like this Beedoof is kicking our butt, so yeah, right now, not the best team, but eventually we're gonna be kicking some butt, taking some names right here. So here we go, bubble attack, and just like that, we grow some more levels and get some more monies. Okay, so that right there is that. And once we cross the the cave, this individual is gonna notice us. He's gonna be like, Howdy trainer! Huh? Oh, you don't have a single gym badge. You'd better do something about that. I'll take you to the Pokemon gym. And just like that, he's gonna be just walking us through here. Look at this. He's gonna be walking us, and well, he's like, huh, there's somebody there. Yeah, that happens to be Barry. But, welcome to Orberg, guys. And in our next episode, we're gonna be taking a tour and battling the first gym leader. So, yeah, it's gonna be a very, very fun one. Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for making this uh, a successful intro to Pokemon Platinum, you know, 2023 and all that stuff. If you guys want to support the channel with the merch uh, store that we have right here, just go, go right there and just go ahead and get some uh, official GLD uh, merchandise. Anywho, I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. See you guys.